All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Raul Cepeda Jr. On behalf of Barcodes Group, Zebra Technologies, and Newcastle Systems, I'd like to thank you all for attending our webinar today on maximizing warehouse labor productivity with mobile carts and industrial label printers. We know your time's precious and we hope you gain some valuable insights today into the solution that we'll be going over. Uh, we do have a Q&A feature available on this webinar, so please feel free to send us any questions via the chat tool uh, and we will address them towards the end as time allows. At this point, I'd like to turn it over to Marty Johnson, Zebra's portfolio marketing lead for the Americas. Marty. Thanks Raul. Hi everyone and thanks for your time today. Hopefully most of you on the call are familiar with Zebra Technologies and our overall solutions. I wanted to start our conversation by talking about our industrial printers. The printers you see on this slide are really designed to function in a wide range of environments, including the harshest manufacturing and warehousing environments in your operations. These print printers are designed to support a wide, wide range of use cases for your barcode printing needs. We know that device uptime is critical in your operations and any downtime could have an impact on your business. These printers are designed to function in your mission critical workflows and processes. Our premium class printers on the left-hand side of the screen here, the ZT600 and the ZT510 are designed to function 24 seven, printing tens of thousands of labels per day. And as you look at our mid-range uh, ZT400 series and the value tier ZT200 series on the right-hand side of the screen, these printers still offer the same kind of reliability as our premium class printers, but are designed to produce smaller volumes of labels per day. There are some other differences between the printers which distinguish why you use one of these over the others. I, I'm not going to go into a lot of speeds and fees, but just to point a few things out. So when it comes to print width, we know that our, our customers have uh, different types of labeling needs and applications that require different print widths capabilities on the printers. Our ZT600 and ZT400 series comes in a four and a six inch print width model. And then the ZT510 and the ZT200 series is restricted to a four inch print width. The other thing that drives a lot of our customers to select uh, various printers is the print resolution. So if you have the need to print very small labels for things like product labels or other types of identification labels, you would typically wanna to go to a, a higher resolution printer like a 600 DPI printer. We offer 600 DPI on the ZT600 series and the 400 series. Then the 510 and the ZT200 are uh, limited to 300 DPI. And then the uh, last thing that we uh, often hear about is uh, many of our customers are beginning to think about or have already instituting, uh, instituted RFID capabilities in their operations. And uh, some of these printers have RFID capabilities, specifically the ZT600 and the ZT400. And uh, the 400 series also offers on metal RFID tagging. So if you ever have the need to uh, tag and, and track assets like uh, carts and things like that, that we're gonna talk about later, you could potentially use uh, this printer to print and code the RFID on metal RFID tag that goes on those carts. I'll talk about this in more detail, but in a few minutes, but I also just wanted to point out that we are also offering color touch displays now on a couple of model of our printers, specifically the ZT600 and the ZT400. So uh, I, as I mentioned earlier, um, you know, these kind of printers are oftentimes seen in, in warehouse and in, in manufacturing kind of operations. Um, many manufacturing organizations, again, use these printers be, as part of their manufacturing line. So if a product or subassembly is being produced, which requires a label, like a product ID label or a quality control label or compliance labels, these printers are oftentimes embedded in that production line. And it's done because the, these printers are used because uh, of the reliability and durability. They, they just don't fail. So if your operation requires a mission critical type of printer, you would want to use one of these because of their high reliability and, and high durability. Again, they just don't fail in, in the operations once they're deployed. Next slide, please. So our printers have evolved over the years. So many of you may have older generation of Zebra printers and we've evolved our printers really to enable your workers to become more efficient and more productive as they use and uh, operate these printers. 
We've designed our printers to be easier to use than previous models. Some of the printers have migrated to a side loading media and ribbon mechanism like you see here on the right hand side of the screen. This has enabled some of our users to reduce the amount of time required to load the media in half compared to some of our previous generation of printers. In addition, we've introduced it introduced a lighted media pathway and you can see that here with the red arrows pointing to the green arrows and that pathway pre-warns the user if media was improperly installed again a way to save time in your operations we've also included something as simple as a cover open light so when you open the cover of the printer the inside of the printer is illuminated and that makes it easier to see inside the printer for loading the media and also servicing the printer again saving time and, and effort We've also uh, introduced a color touch display, as I mentioned earlier. So the inset screen here shows an example of the color touch display. So we know that you know, over the years, um, people have begun uh, using more and more touch screen devices. So uh, smartphones, tablets, computers, ta uh, things like that. So we followed that trend and introduced a touch screen display on our printers as well. So it makes it much more intuitive and easier for the operator to interact with a printer. Again, we see that improving productivity and improving the efficiency of, of, your, of your employees as they're interacting with the printer. Next slide, please. We have also made our latest generation of printers easier to maintain. So easier maintenance really equates to faster maintenance and faster maintenance reduces overall downtime for uh, for the printer and your operations. So again, thinking about how we can uh, uh, make your printer uh, run uh, more often with less downtime is important to your overall productivity and efficiency of your operations. Some things we've done specifically to make the printers easier to maintain is uh, shown here on the screen. One of them is a, a new printhead design. So we've introduced a socketed printhead design in some of our, our, our printers. And that has eliminated the cables and has made it much easier to remove and replace the printhead when that printhead has to be replaced during regular maintenance. We've followed a similar kind of approach with the platen roller. Again, this printheads and platen rollers are, are consumable items that have to be replaced based upon how often you, you use the printer, how many labels a day you're printing on the printer. So the platen roller is now easier to remove and replace on our newer generation of printers. And then lastly, we've also designed our printers uh, to enable modular installation of different types of features. So for example, if you buy a base printer today and down the road, you wanna add a cutter or a peeler mechanism to the printer, we've made that much easier to install and implement in the field. So you're not necessarily locked into the printer you buy today, it can migrate to a different kind of printer in your future based upon your needs and as your operations grow. And again, that reduces overall downtime, increasing the uptime of the printer and improving your overall operational efficiency. So in summary, Zebra has really focused our latest printer designs on making your workers more productive and efficient by making the printers easier to use and easier to maintain. And with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Kevin. Thanks, Marty. Appreciate that, and welcome everyone. So, um, at Newcastle Systems, what we're what we're about is is taking a best in class industrial printer, and and all the new enhancements that Zebra is making to make things more efficient. And we're moving it from point A to point B. And the reason we're doing that is it's the mobility factor that has existed for many years in warehouses. Now, a lot of you are using handheld computers from Zebra and gaining productivity by eliminating footsteps and, and really on printing it's it's the same thing if we have to label that pallet we either can drag the pallet to us or we can walk back and forth countless times and edwin if we go to the next slide what that looks like is the picture on the left is a spaghetti diagram and that's that's very common in a lot of warehousing applications and factories where people are walking literally into an office space to print labels and if we put paint on the bottom of their shoes and we follow them throughout the day we would see these spaghetti lines appear on the floor and we would take notice, but most people don't see what they don't see. So they don't notice the amount of time that is being wasted. Now, when we get them mobile in the picture on the right, we kind of get our workers in a little zone. We take away all of those footsteps and they gain productivity simply by increasing time for their process. So if we go to that next slide, 
you know, what does that time mean? Well, this is a typical receiving work study. We have a tool called Motion Meter, and I encourage everyone to download it. It's free for either an iPhone or an Android device. And why it's important is it allows you to measure a process, and I mean any process. And, and in receiving what we've learned over the years, because a lot of people buy our product for this specific application, they have tons of material coming in that needs to be labeled. So if we look at a, a common study where it all starts with somebody pulling the paperwork and then walking to a PC, scanning, looking up info, going back to the where the work needs to take place, and then going back and then printing labels, and that back and forth motion aspect um, creates waste. And those little red circles with a line going through them, if we can eliminate them, we can improve our process. So this process takes about 21 minutes, we'll call it. If we go to the next slide, when we eliminate those circles, the waste in motion, we have cut our process in half. And that's very common for us. We've had customers tell us that they literally have doubled productivity. Now, it's not rocket science to know that if you're working four hours a day, and now you're working eight hours a day, you, have, you can conceivably double productivity. Now, this isn't you know, a standard for all industries, but in most processes we see where there's labeling involved to a static printer, it can be a significant part of the equation. So uh, if we move on to the next slide, what is that costing the world? What is that costing you? I mean, if we just take warehouse workers in general, you know how hard it is to get people, you know how hard it is to retain people. And if we're gonna waste an hour of their day, which is not a lot, to be honest with, you, with, with what we've seen over the years, some people are literally wasting 30, 40, 50% of their day. You know, it's costing billions of dollars and many millions of hours. And, and not only that, it's beating up our people that we can't get and we can't retain. So at the individual level, if I said to you, the people who are doing the work in your warehouse, who are receiving trucks all day, who are walking to printers countless times, you're wasting seven weeks a year, you probably take notice of that and want to fix it. Um, so, and plus those hours, they add up tremendously. It, minutes, 10 minutes equals a 40 hour week if you do that every single hour. So let's try to work on that. And that's what we're good at. We're, we're good at identifying the amount of time and then helping you improve that. On the next slide. You know, mostly what Zebra makes a fantastic product that's incredibly rugged. And as we've seen, there are some new efficiencies that you're going to gain just by upgrading printers. But if they're still sort of static and you're forcing people into a legacy print room, um, most people don't see what they don't see again, and they don't realize how much motion is costing them. They don't realize that labeling errors are occurring, and that's usually because of batch printing. What, what usually happens is when people are forced to walk back and forth, we've learned they simply start printing multiple jobs and because they want to gain the system, and they don't want to have their time wasted. And so and inadvertently, they eventually put that wrong label on the wrong package, and now we have a return or, a, or an irritated customer. And so labeling errors is a big part of the process waste we see. And also the KPIs get affected because if you're wasting two to four hours a day, if you can move on to that next slide, and when some of the key performance indicators in a warehouse setting are in, inbound capacity, meaning how much, how much can you process? And if you're a growing business, you need to try to get better. You don't want to go backwards. So World Class says we can receive about 60 lines an hour. Whereas companies who are really struggling, they're only able to receive seven lines an hour. Now, typically those people don't have great processes and they have a lot of waste. So to eliminate waste allows you to get closer to that 60 line per hour. You don't need to add more people, you can just grow. On the other side is speed. If you are in e-commerce and you're on this call today, you know the pressure you're under. And if I place an order with you today, world-class tells me you're gonna process it and get it out the door in two hours, which is amazing. Well, if you're at 40 hours, and these are the companies that are struggling, you're not even in the game anymore for e-commerce. Let's face it, people want next day or two day delivery at worst. And then last but not least, the accuracy equation. If you're shipping out tons of parcels, great companies, they have it down with science. They very rarely make a mistake, but companies who are struggling, 6% of the units leaving their building are incorrectly labeled with the right paperwork. And so we see this all the time where people just say, I never ordered this product, but the label says I did. And that's very common when we see waste in motion, we get that batch printing and then we get labels put on the wrong package. So those are the KPIs where motion can help you 
Um, especially if you measure it, we can help you kind of get to best in class. On the next slide. So what does that kind of look like visually? Here, here's a typical case study of somebody who had sort of like that first picture I showed you with the spaghetti diagram. This is a, a produce wholesaler with 30 dock doors and their process required somebody to go into the office and print labels from a legacy zebra printer and uh, didn't measure it, didn't really know the impact, but they knew they had problems because customers kept telling them they were getting the wrong product. Now, because it's perishable, the customer could not send them back. So they were eating the cost of that material uh, to the tune of $500,000 a year. That is a really big number. And when they started to measure it and understand the process, it came down to the simple fact that people were batch printing just because they didn't want to go back to that office 20 times a day and they were putting the wrong label on the wrong package. Well, they upgraded their printers to uh, industrial 600 series Zebra printers, wireless, of course. Now they're also maximizing their wireless infrastructure, which they've used for years to use handheld computers, but now their printers are all mobile and they're going to that point of activity. They've gained 30% in productivity. They've eliminated about three miles per day of wasted walking for each person, and those people appreciate it. And uh, they're saving half a million dollars a year on, uh, on chargebacks. And the greatest part of the equation is all the equipment on the cart was paid for within six months. Now, we can't guarantee that for everyone, but we can say that if you have at least 10 minutes of wasted motion in your process today, and it's very easy to go calculate with our tool, you're probably going to get a six-month ROI, including that includes the printer and the scanner. So it's a great investment with an immediate payback because as soon as you start using this, you are going to gain productivity and start to eat away at that ROI. On the next slide, I'm going to turn it over to Raul. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, I appreciate it. Um, so now that you've learned a little bit about um, you know the different solutions here from Zebra and uh, Newcastle. You might be asking yourself, how does Barcodes Group fit into everything? Well, as a solution partner of both Zebra and Newcastle, Barcodes Group entities offer design, deploy, and support services that are really required to get these solutions implemented and, uh, and maintained. So from a design and deployment standpoint, we have a, you know, a very technical expertise uh, in our professional services team that can conduct feasibility analyses and on-site surveys. Uh, to enable us to design a customized solution for you based on your environment. Uh, and then we work uh, in conjunction here with uh, Zebra Newcastle to develop and integrate a fully mobilized printing solution to meet your needs and alleviate any pain points that you might have in your operation. From a support standpoint, uh, we offer around the clock support if needed for all your deployed hardware. Uh, we have an, exper an experienced service staff to deliver troubleshooting and repair services for a lot of the hardware. And then also, you know, when you're deploying your printer, uh, your printers in your environment, we actually are uh, North America's largest supplier of labels, ribbon, print heads, and other consumables so that we can keep you up and running. Uh, and we can even support this via uh, managed print services. So ultimately our goal is to partner with your operation, uh, your business to keep your operation up and running uh, but more importantly, we want to make sure that you have future-proof technology so you can be more efficient uh, in your warehouse operations, kind of like what you saw today. Uh, so with that, um, that concludes the, 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 uh, the portion of the presentation here. What we do want to do is leave some time here for Q&A. So we do have some questions here. Um, first question, uh, this one's to you, Marty. Uh, is duty load information published anywhere so we can appropriately size a printer? So we don't formally publish that because there's a wide variability in, in the duty cycle based upon things like the size of the label, the thickness of the label. Uh, but as a general rule of thumb, I can provide you some guidance uh, right now. So the uh, premium class printers that we offer, so the ZT600 series and the ZT510, those are designed to run 24 seven. So however many labels you can push through the printer, the printer is gonna be able to support it. Uh, our mid-range printers, the ZT400 series, general rule of thumb, that's gonna be able to support and print eight to 10,000 labels a day. That's kind of how the printer is designed. And then our entry-class 
uh, entry class printers, the ZT200 series, uh, that uh, category of printers is designed to print roughly you know, five to 8,000 labels a day. A again, that, that's kind of how the printer's designed. You could push more labels to it and the printer's gonna print it. It really comes down to um, the potential impact on the performance of the printer. If you're putting too many labels through the printer, you might see some, uh, some faults occurring, uh, some, thing, some of the labels not printing as clearly as what you'd hope. So again, they're all reliable and durable. Uh, and we really kind of suggest that people stick within kind of that duty cycle that that, that I just described as a, as a general rule of thumb. All right, thank you. Um, the next question I have here, are the printers hardy against dust? Our production area tends to be cruel to electronics. In general, yes. Uh, the printers are designed to withstand dusty and dirty uh, environments. We've, we've got our printers installed in a, a wide range of use cases. Uh, for example, you know, flour mills, uh, other places, uh, uh, manufacturing processing facilities that are, are very dusty and dirty. Um, the way the printers are designed, there, there are no fans on them. Some of uh, the other printers in the market have cooling fans that could draw dust and debris into the printer. The Zebra printers are not designed with any type of fan uh, needed to cool the printer. It's all done through internal heat sinks and so forth. So uh, we, we have successfully installed these in many very dusty and dirty environments. So I'd be confident that it would work in your environment as well. All right, next question for Kevin. Do you have wider carts that can sustain 250 kilograms in weight? 500 pounds 550, is... 551 pounds. I mean, the carts, that's, that's, an, that's, a lot of, uh, that's a lot of weight to carry on a shelf. Um, I'd say have someone reach out to me. That's probably going to be something custom, uh, Raul. All right. Um, next question I have here. Um, can you program the printers for labels that are used frequently? I guess that one's for you, Marty. Yeah, um, <clears throat> kind of interpreting that uh, as you have the same label that you have to print multiple times is kind of how I'm interpreting the question. So if, if yeah. it's different than that. Um, so yes, yeah, so for example, if you have to print the same label 500 times, for example, as you send the print job down to the printer, you can say within that print commands, print that one label 500 times. Um, the other potential angle of this question is you have the same format uh, that you want to print multiple times. So you may have three or different, three or four different formats of a label, and you want to reprint each of those formats multiple times. Uh, we can do that as well by storing the formats within the printer. All right. Um, the next question I have uh, regarding the lithium technology in your products, where uh, where I should choose it over lead acid. I think they're asking whether it should be chosen over lead acid. And then the second part of that is how, how does it work with hot swappable battery modules? Right. So first of all, if, if you're running a multi-shift operation, you know, which a lot of warehouses are, the hot swappable, you know, solution is really what you need. And that only comes in the form of our lithium iron phosphate battery. So as a two base system. So as you're printing, 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 as your battery starts to deplete, you have a visual that tells you when to replace that. You put in another battery and you'll pull out the old battery before it depletes and you, you don't have any downtime. Um, lead acid batteries are, are, have been around for years. They work great. They're fantastic for, let's say one shift or less. And a lot of people only need four hours of receiving time a day, we'll call it, or four hours of shipping time. So it's really based on the application. There is the advantage to lithium is longevity, meaning you get a lot more cycles out of those batteries. They will last many, many years, possibly five to seven years versus a lead acid battery, which only has 300 cycles. And depending on how well you treat it, it is a little more, you have to be a little more um, cautious. You have to really be diligent about how you charge them and make that a good process. And if you do, you know, you can get one, two, maybe even three years, depending on the application. So really, it just depends on what you're trying to do and what you want to accomplish. All right. Um, next question I have here is, I think it's for both of you. There's two two part question. The first one, I think, is for Marty. Uh, what is the power consumption for the printer? 
Yeah, I think that ties into the second part of the question. It looks like you know it's it's related to yeah, how how long the, the the power on the cart will last, the battery. So we, we have the specs on the uh, the power consumption, and uh, Kevin, I, I, yeah. I know I know that you guys translate that into we do, yeah, we do. Um, so we I mean, we need to measure something with zebra printers. It's easy for us. We have a device, and, and what we can tell you is that there isn't any zebra printer, regardless of how industrial it is, that is really taxing on our system. In fact, they're actually lower wattage than than actually gets stated, and unless it prints up. When they actually print, they draw a little more power, but it's not enough to really, for us to, to really worry about. So uh, any Zebra printer is not an issue to power, very simple, and depends on the label volume. So if it's idle, it might only draw 10 watts, we'll call it. But then when it starts to print, it might ramp up to say 80 to 100 watts. And if you're printing thousands of labels, obviously you'll deplete the battery faster than if you were printing 100 labels. So it just depends on that math, depends on how many labels are you printing per shift. And, uh, but don't worry about the, the consumption because we can just dial in with a bigger battery um, to get you really, we're trying to get people at least through that shift, the entire shift. I think that's it. So again, on behalf of Barcodes Group, Zebra Technologies and Newcastle Systems, I'd like to thank you all for joining our webinar today on maximizing warehouse labor productivity with mobile carts and industrial label printers. Uh, if you do have any further questions or would like one of our experts to reach out for a free consultation or demo, please feel free to reach out to your preferred solution provider that you see here on the screen, or you could feel free to reach out to me directly via the contact information uh, also on the screen there. Uh, thanks again, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.